Hello, everybody. How y'all doing tonight? It is Friday, and it's time for another installment of a little more Elvis conversation with me, Shauna. Hey, Nancy. Hi, Elvis chick. Nancy, hey, Shauna. Happy Friday. Hope you had a good week. Boy, sure sounds like Miss PP is getting in trouble. Oh, well, what goes around comes around. You're looking for trouble? You came to the right place. You're looking for trouble? Just look right in my face. I was born standing up uh, and uh, talking back. Oh, pretty pants is in trouble and she ain't never coming back. Sorry, I got a little bit too... <laughs> I got a little too worked up on that one. Hey, Elvis chick. I, um, I can't wait. Been waiting on this for days. Hope everyone has been doing good. We're trying to. I'm going to wait for a few of you guys to come in. I got a little story to tell you. I got a little story. I got a little story to tell you. all So you guys got to come in. All right. Hey, Kathleen. What a week tell you. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, Lori. Hi, Karen. Hi, Patricia. Elvis Jake. Hey, Shauna. You look beautiful. Thank you, girl. Do you, I just put this on. I, 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 I don't go to work in makeup. I really don't. I come home and put it on for the show to make y'all make you think I'm, I'm pretty. It's just makeup, but I thank you very much for it. Thank you. Lisa. Hi, Rainbow. Ladies and gents, the lovely and talented Shauna is in the building. Oh, my God. I'm here. I'm here. Ginger, hi. Ruby, hey, princess. Hey, girl. Elvis, chick, sing it, girl. I've been singing it for years. Pr Prissy Pants needs to get in trouble. Her karma needs to come rolling in. And it looks like it's we're we're there i mean the thing is I, I i read a comment a few days ago uh about the show that i did and the comment was you know you couldn't you said karma was coming and then on your show you said you're waiting for poetic justice that it wasn't the right amount of karma for you well i have since read the documents the court documents and everything. And I have to say, it looks legit to me. It looks really legit to me. Patty, Prissy is trouble. Can't wait for this. We've been waiting for this stuff to happen for decades. Lily, great to see you, beautiful Shauna. Thank you, Lily. Karen, you're a little haughty. Aww. Get out of here. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. I do have to make some kind of an effort. Tracy, hi, Shauna. Looking forward to this live. Thank you, Tracy. I have been, too. I've been looking forward to be able to talk to you guys all week. It seems like you're the only guys I talk to. No, this is true. Pretty much. Ginger, Friday night chat. Hooray. Gina D. Hola, Shauna. Hola, Gina. Deb, hi, Shauna. Hey, guys. All right. So I want to tell you a story. And you guys, please don't take it the wrong way. Because I know how sometimes when you say certain things, sometimes people can get the wrong impression. This is not my intention. Patricia, I hope to take Prissy Pants down, take her for everything. It would be nice if we could take her down. I know that um, Rhonda helped contribute to that. I will say, once the story broke out that Rhonda had, you want me to tell you how it happened? I mean, I can tell you how it happened. Okay. So somebody threw Rhonda a bone. Rhonda took that bone and went digging some more and found some more stuff, too, and she made her show. Now, when she did that, the timestamp, she was the first one to uh, expose that Priscilla Presley was getting sued by Priscilla Presley Brands. 
which Priscilla Presley, um, it, it was Priscilla Presley being sued by the company developed for Priscilla Presley. Um, and she did that video. And um, I didn't want to watch her video before I did my video because I didn't want us to look similar. I didn't want people to think I was taking her stuff or stealing her stuff. I know how people create things and make things more than what it is on the Internet. OK. So. After that happened, somebody believe sent that video that Rhonda made to Tony Ortega, who did a lot of stories about Lisa Marie and stuff like that. And he wrote an article for the Daily Beast in the time after it took Rhonda to do her video. Okay. What I think is sad about it is Rhonda did the work and they credit Tony Ortega for it. And not Rhonda. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see how this works? So anyway, yes, Rhonda had a great bone. <laughs> she found a great story. She put it out there. It was exposed. Two people can do the same thing. Three, four, five. The story has to move in order for it to be news, folks. So I am allowed to talk about things that Rhonda puts out. Her and I are friends. We love one another. I don't take from her. I ask her things. I ask her, what's this? What's that? And I do my video. But I didn't want my video to be exactly like her video. So if you see her video with the extent research, and then you see my video of spilling the Presley tea, it's a little different. There's a big difference between research and talking about something. Letting y'all know what's up. There's a totally two different platform on that. So I digress. But anyways, what I'm trying to point out to you is this. I didn't take anything from Rhonda. I asked in order to put the story out. I didn't want to make it technical. I didn't want to watch her video and make it completely just like hers because she is having her own credit you know, on her own channels. She, she has all the credit, you know, I'm just bringing it out there to talk about it, to get it out there. You know, more than one platform can do the same story, right? Do you guys agree? Because I think I agree, especially if you talk to the person who did the story to begin with, and there was a green light saying, Shauna, hey, you can talk about it. Okay. Now, upon that, this is, something else I want to tell you. Rhonda is not, this is something I found out Valentine's Day. Rhonda's not coming back, guys. She's going to stay on her channel from now on. Um, so I, I, I found out on Valentine's Day and um, my heart broke on Valentine's Day. I'll say that. Um, I wrote a post on my Facebook explaining how I felt, but I thought maybe she would come back um, after her husband got well, but um, she's she's not. So I just thought I'd throw it out there. She's not coming back, guys. Um, but I'm doing everything I can to keep it out for you guys to to get the news out there talk about Elvis. That's why I'm doing the movie shows on Monday. If you guys haven't came on Monday, join me on Monday. It's fun. It's fun. Plus, we're going to have these giveaways. I'm going to show you what I got for you guys to start. You'll love this. If you win the giveaway, there's Jailhouse Rock, Blu-ray, ready and sealed, ready to deliver who wins the giveaway on the Jailhouse Rock movie. Then we have what's coming up next, the Blu-ray of Loving You. Loving You, brand new, in seal, ready to give away to the person who wins my giveaway on the Loving You movie. And I have all of them. I'm getting them little by little. Thank you to my friend, Will. You know who you are. But that's what we're going to do. Um, we've I I've, I've saw that a lot of you guys that watched other videos haven't been responding to my Monday night, which is fine. I understand.
But if you guys do come on to my Monday night, um, excuse me, my Tuesday night um, Elvis movie shows, I'm giving Elvis movies away. Blu-ray. And, um, yeah. So, there you go. Um, that's what I'm going to do for you guys on Tuesday, okay? So, we're going to have giveaways um, for movies on my movie show. Um, I'm also going to have giveaways for just any other show, too. You know, I've got things in the mix. I'm making things. I'm doing things. I'm making things, doing things, and realizing that even though I'm doing the this part of the shows by myself, I'll be okay. You know why? You guys are with me. You know? And you guys can support her channel, and, and you can also support mine. There's no reason why you can't support both of our channels, okay? There is no infighting going on. So whatever some people are thinking, get it out your head. Now, I was hurt, and I, I, I was sad, and it, it was pretty bad to know she wasn't coming back. But here's the thing. I started this channel. By myself. And then I brought her on to be my co-host. Because I thought she'd be the yin to my yang. Like, I have the comedy. That's down pat. I wanted her to have the serious. I wanted to have a, you know, another feel. You know, another opinion um, on my show. And I brought her in. And the two years almost that we've been together was terrific. I, I would never take it back. I don't care for anything. But I guess sometimes good things do have to come to an end. And you've got to just move on and move forward, right? So that's what I'm going to do. The best of my ability, anyway. Okay? Now, you guys can comment about Rhonda um, all you want. Um, but some of y'all, please don't put drama into it. Because I know there's no drama in this. Rhonda just wanted to grow her own channel. She wanted to be more creative with herself and her channel. And I get that. You know, and a lot of you are subscribers to her channel. In fact, half of you guys on this channel are already her subscribers. So see, and, and that's fine too. You know, so I'm going to wish her luck. I love her to death. but. Yeah, she's not coming back. It's not happening. So I just thought I'd let you guys know. Okay? And yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ginger, it's messed up not giving Rhonda the credit because they should have. Uh, Tony Ortega got the credit. He got paid for the story. So there's that. And I know for a fact he got the credit. Okay? Because he was the first article after her uh, video hit. So I know he got credit, he got paid, she did not. Ruby, that's a damn shame. It is, but there's really nothing that I or anybody else can do about it. You know, Rhonda's not coming back. Kathleen, how could he not credit Rhonda? I don't know. He's a bigger name than she is, and nobody cares about little old people on YouTube, do they? Bringing a story out? <laughs> Ginger, you're original. Thank you. Like I said, I, I was trying not to take everything Rhonda was saying and making my video on Tuesday. On, I, I didn't want my video on Wednesday to look like her video or sound like her video whatsoever. Because the last thing that I want to be labeled is a thief, and I'm not. I'm not. So I didn't want my show to look like hers. All I did was read the news article that broke after she did her show, and then I talked about it. That was pretty much it to explain it to you guys who haven't watched her show yet. So a lot of people who already watched her show went on to my comment section, you know, to gripe at me a little bit because Rhonda brought it out first. And it's like, I know. But then Rhonda and I talked um, just the day after, and her and I were laughing at the fact that even though she broke the story first, anybody that anybody's allowed to talk about it, aren't we're all allowed to talk about it? So you know, it got 
under my skin a little bit. Talked to Rhonda, and she laughed about it, and so did I. It's like, even though she broke the story, I am allowed to talk about it. Goodness sakes. People were making a mountain out of molehill between me and Rhonda, and I hope it stops because it's not my intention, and it definitely wasn't hers, you know, for anything like this to be going on. We love each other. We, we support each other, and we'll always be strong and close. I think some people just think since she's not on my channel anymore that we're not close anymore, and that's just not true. Not at all. So I'm throwing that out the window for anybody that thinks it. Uh, Rainbow, Rhonda got the bone and Shauna chewed the meat. That's basically what happened, Rainbow. Rhonda got the bone. She did the work. And then I chewed the meat. You know, I just just didn't want my, my video to look like hers, you know. Just didn't. Leanne, hi, Shauna. Love your show. Sending love from Australia. Down under. She come from the land down under. Kathleen, don't have much regard for Otega now. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I, I liked how he was bringing out Lisa Marie's stuff. I liked how he did that. But when you get the timestamps and you put them together, like somebody uh, told me to look at, I realized that she did the show. Then he wrote his story. So, you know, you can surely tell he got it from Rhonda, but he got the credit and he got the money. Elvis, chick. Oh my goodness. Miss Rhonda gets no credit. That's bull crap. Well, she gets credit on her channel. She gets credit on all y'all enjoying it. You know, I even enjoyed it. I always enjoy when Prissy Pants goes through the fire. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. But, you know, I, I I wanted to put it out there, how it all went down, how it all happened. Elvis Chick, yes. Karen, oh no. Oh no is right. But I'm going to pick up the pieces, just like I've been doing, and we're going to have some good shows. And we're going to do some good things, especially for Elvis's legacy. Patty, Rhonda should have gotten full credit. Her show was great. I agree. Um, she should have. Jennifer, sorry to hear. Kathleen, oh no. Olivia, there's a mole. They say that when something like that happens. Oh, they always say there's a mole. Elvis Chick, oh no. EP Fan Archive, I want that. When you said that, you must have wanted this, didn't you? Well, you know what? EP Fan, you need to watch... Um, my Tuesday Night Elvis movie show, when next week we'll be covering Jailhouse Rock, you could win this Blu-ray Jailhouse Rock movie. If you want that, you need to start, you need to watch the movie show. Patricia, so sorry, I love you together, but you got this, and you're awesome. Thank you, Patricia. I appreciate that very, very much. Ruby, sorry to hear she's not coming back. Both y'all have great shows. I know. And we're both friends. And we're both going to support each other. So there's no there's no story here. And there's no reason for some people to be thinking otherwise. And that's why I put it out there. Because I'm thinking some people are thinking otherwise. And I want to tell them what's really going on. Lori, this girl from Tennessee loves both channels. And I support both. Well, Lori, this girl from Georgia loves you very much. And I appreciate you. Brenda, I send good wishes to Rhonda. She'll be missed here. Oh, yeah, she really will. I've been feeling it, too, guys. I've been feeling it. You know, she isn't here, you know. And when she was here, she and I did both of our work. And then we put it all together to make a show for you guys. You know, her way of researching isn't the same way as my way of researching. Just like her way of telling a story isn't my way of telling a story. I'm more animated, you know. I'm more out there. And, and she's the sweetest, the sweetest thing I've ever seen. So she's always nice and sweet and puts it out there, you know. And she does her research. 
even more better than I do because I don't have as much time in the day as as she does and because she works from home and I don't have that pleasure. I have to work out of the house. But we just were two different people, but we love each other and we have two different shows now. And that's pretty much it. You know, we do two different shows. I mean, even though my Spilling the Tea show is is Spilling the Tea, her shows aren't really much Spilling the Tea. It's more like Spilling the Research and letting you guys figure it out by her being technical and telling you it all. And I'm more like um, putting comedy in with the serious, you know. <laughs> I'm just, you give me something sad, I'm going to put comedy in it. You give me something serious, I'm going to put comedy in it. That's just how I am as a person. We're just two different people, but we love each other. And I hope her great success. And you know what? She hopes me great success, too. So there's nothing going on that's bad between us. There's no bad blood. So I, I hope people understand that. I just wanted to put it out there tonight so people don't think the wrong thing. Because the last thing that we need is hard feelings on both sides, you know? Especially if it's not true. Gina D., I need loving you, but I don't have a Blu-ray, just a DVD machine. Oh, well, I... Hold on. I don't want to open this, but I can't. Actually, you're, you're, you're in. This, is, this one's not Blu-ray. This one's not Blu-ray! So you watch my show Tuesday night. You could win this. I will spend my whole life through loving you, just loving you. <laughs> uh, I missed a few. Hold on, I missed a few. Oh my goodness! Here we go. Rainbow, some exotic extort, some exotic ex assorted teas and scones giveaway on Wednesdays. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Elvis chick. Sorry to hear she's not coming back, but I'm not going anywhere. And I watch Rhonda too. Don't worry. We love you, girl. I love you too. Thank you. Thank you. Kathleen, sorry to hear we love you both and we'll be here for you shows and hers. I know, because you like to go where it's good. And you know, you like it on both on both channels. And that I appreciate. Hold on, I got something into my eye. It's bothering me. Ooh. Patty, sad Rhonda's not coming back, but I love both y'all and I'll support both of you. Thank you. Just Reeves, we love you both. Brenda, here for both of you. Joy in the Holy Spirit. I like watching both your channels. Thank you, Joy. Karen, I love both of you. Thank you, Karen. I love you, too. I love all y'all. You know, I keep saying this. You guys could have went to any Elvis channel. It's Friday night. But guess what? You're in my live chat. And for that, I love each and every one of you. So thank you. I mean, you could be anywhere right now, right? I mean, it's prom time, baby. You could be anywhere right now, but you're right here on my channel. And I love y'all for it. You know, Ginger, got to win a giveaway. You're right. You'll be okay. I'll support both your channels. Well, Ginger, I hope you win the giveaway. Uh, 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 giveaway. And um, thank you. Susie Q, both of you are truth seekers in different ways. So grateful for, for both of you. And that's a good way of putting it. We are truth seekers. And we do it in different ways. That's just how we roll. Helen, that's okay. I love both channels. You both are great. Thank you, Helen. Elvis Chick, we appreciate your honesty. Well, I just wanted to put it out there of what's going on that I found out. You know, I just asked her if she was coming back and she told me no she wants to be able to grow her channel and see how everything um works and who am I to deny that <laughs> I'm really I'm I, I, I I'm happy for her you know EP fan there's room in the Elvis world for all of us there is there is 
the more of us out there, the better. The more, uh, the more of us that are a lot like us, are, the better. You know, the ones that actually get the story right about Elvis, the ones that actually get his history right, those are the ones are the more the better. Patty, I'm glad you're telling us about Rhonda and her decision. You both are wonderful. Thank you. Though it has been hard, I mean, I've been sitting on this information for a few days now, and it, it I will say, it has been hard. Kathy, so sorry that Rhonda did not get credit for her story. You guys both have great shows. Thank you. Sarah B., the story is out. PP is exposed. That's the main thing. No, it is. It is. That's why I said nobody should get mad of me uh, doing and telling you guys what happened, uh, you know, with Priscilla Presley right after uh, Rhonda did her video. Because the more people that get it out there, the better. Everybody needs to know what's going on. You know, the fact that Priscilla Presley, the fact that Prissy Pants is exposed and she's getting sued, you know, and who's suing her and why, that is what's important. Not who got the story, when got the story, blah, got the story, yada, yada, yada. What matters is it's trickling down and everybody's understanding what is going on, you know? And that's just, that's just the way it is, especially in the Elvis world, you know? We got to be able to share the story because if we don't, Exclusive stuff that stays with one person doesn't always get out and about as much as multiple people. But granted, I agree. Give credit where credit is due. If you take something from somebody, you give them credit, you know. And that's why I read the news article and not Rhonda's show. I didn't want to take from her show. I didn't want to make my show even close to hers during that moment. I wanted to do it differently. I wanted to give you the news outlets that broke it and the sources of where I got it. That's how I wanted to do it. Susie Q, I understand Rhonda has her reasons and respect her decision and will miss seeing both of you together. I will continue supporting both of you. You are awesome, Shauna. Thanks, Susie Q. I appreciate that. Incredibly curious about Elvis. Hello. Well, hello there. Mm, it's been a long, long time. Ginger, what is a mole? Uh, Gina, what is a mole? Um, a mole is someone that tells on someone else or gets information from somebody else to give to some news outlet somewhere else. I mean, basically, a mole is somebody who takes something from somebody else and gives it to, like, a news outlet without that other person's knowledge. Mary Ann Ellis, I love you guys together, but I watch both your channels, maybe. Maybe? Oh, well, it's okay. You can watch whichever channel you like, Mary Ellis. EP fan. Oh, I will be watching. This is Kyle, by the way. Well, hello, Kyle. Kathleen, I chose not to say Elvis X name anymore. Glad to watch you and Rhonda talk about Elvis. We'll miss you two together, though. Well, that's most of the reasons why Kath Catherine, I call her Prissy Pants most of the time, because I can't really stomach calling her by her real name. <laughs> Not too much. Darlene, hi, payback, big time. Well, she's getting there. She's getting sued. That is a given. She is getting sued. Oh, I can't see. Prissy, nothing but a liar. She's nothing but a liar. Rhonda, Lacanier, love everything about Elvis. Chrissy, nothing but a liar. It's true. Carlos, hi, Shauna. Hi, from Melbourne, Australia. Hello, Carlos, from down under. How are you? 
Mary Ann Ellis, sorry, my phone froze up. Maybe you and Rhonda will do a special once in a while. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm not throwing it out that we would never do that. I'm just saying right now, mm, not right now. William, hello, Shauna. It's William Richards from De Quincey, Louisiana. I'm celebrating my 56th birthday on Sunday. Happy belated birthday to you, William. Happy belated birthday to you, William. I hope you have a good birthday, too. Happy belated birthday to you, to you. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, let's see. Rhonda Lackner. Those are great movies, Shauna. They are. And, and um, um, my friend, Will, is going to get a hold of as many of these as possible. I know that he's looking at a uh, limited, like, special edition of Elvis's Aloha from Hawaii satellite concert to give away. I mean, there's a lot of nice movies we're giving away. So I wouldn't... Um, I wouldn't miss my Tuesday night Elvis movie shows, people. You guys could win these movies. It would be cool. Hopeful full moon. Rhonda is very sweet. Oh, she's the sweetest. She's the sweetest. <clears throat> Rhonda Latganier. I will continue to support both channels. Thank you, Rhonda. <coughs> <coughs> Woo. Excuse me. Tina, hi Shauna, good to see you. Ready to hear all the juicy word. Well, the juicy word, Tina, is Chrissy Pants is getting sued by Bridget Cruz because Bridget Cruz was supposed to exploit her name and image and Priscilla Presley already um, gave up the rights to her name to authentic brands. And Bridget Cruz couldn't exploit Priscilla Presley's name anymore or as much as she could. And then Priscilla just dropped out of the whole agreement with Bridget Cruz and the business they made together, which was PPP. And now she's being sued for breach of contract. So this is going to be interesting to see how this plays out. But, I mean, that's the shorter end of what's going on, really. I mean, that's not the technical, but that's the shortest end. Pretty Pence in trouble, okay? And according to the article I read and the documents, the court documents I read, okay, she is delinquent. Like, she was supposed to have been broke by... 2023 sometime 2023 and I, nothing else is said about it but that's interesting priscilla presley broke huh that's the best news that broke the internet right there priscilla presley broke and then somebody asked me how can priscilla presley be broke when she's worth 55 million dollars and i had to explain to somebody just because a celebrity is worth 55 million doesn't mean they have the 58 million. Do you see how that is? It's crazy. You know, you can be worth a certain amount of money, but that doesn't mean you own that much money. That's just how much you're worth. Okay? So that's how that is. Kat, I have questions. Let's talk about how PPP found out that Prissy had already sold out the Presley name. PPP only can use Presley, but how is it that Prissy was also paid by the trust for her name? That is a crazy one right there. It's a good one. But PPP was developed to use Priscilla's image and likeness, right? Well, Priscilla was paid by the trust for her name. So now. Well, why, how can she be paid again? I don't understand how they even paid her by the trust when Riley and them settled in court in May of last, you know, in May of last year. How can that happen? But it did happen. So does that mean that 
a lawyer can find that and use it against Priscilla because Priscilla already sold her rights in, in that trust, right? So that's interesting. I mean, we might have to look more in on that, Kat, but that's a good question because she already got paid by that trust for her name. So how is she wanting to get paid again? This woman's so greedy. She probably don't know how many contracts that she has signed throughout the years. Ginger, I love everything about Elvis too. Rhonda, you're right. Priscilla is a liar. Well, it is. It, Priscilla is a liar. <laughs> William, Prissy Pants is stuck on stupid. <laughs> She sure is, William. Karen, someone like Prissy Pants. Mm hmm Someone like her. Rhonda Lacanier. Yes, she is. Rhonda, you are both successful. Well, we try our best. We both try our best. Tracy, I have a feeling that the Prissy lawsuit will be settled out of court followed by a non-disclosure agreement. Hmm. I don't know, Tracy. I don't know. I mean, Bridget Cruz filed this lawsuit. So I don't think, I don't, I think it's really going to happen. I don't think there's no non disclosure agreements that's going to happen. I think it's a little late for that. The story has, has already been thrown out there, you know? Kat, now that we know Prissy's dire financial situation at the time of Lisa Marie Presley's death, sure makes her turning off life support more interesting and in why she sued the trust. Girl, you're taking my heart right now. It's, 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 it's crazy to think about, isn't it? I mean, and the timeline of everything that she was doing, you know, January 8th is when she signed this agreement to make PPP Elvis's birthday. Where was Lisa Marie Elvis's birthday of January 2023? She was at Graceland doing Elvis's birthday celebration. Uh-huh. And that bothered me because I was like, you know, yeah. And then a little bit after that, she was doing something else. And that was after Lisa Marie's death. And it's like business as usual, business as usual, because she's not showing herself of being the grieving mother. She never did all year, all this year. All she's done is promote, 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 promote. Try my skincare cream. I believe beauty is essential. Try my cream. I mean, she was selling cream, beauty cream right after Lisa Marie Presley died. Uh huh. And then she was promoting Agent Elvis when he died after that. And then there was the, um, yeah, that's just, she just kept promoting. I mean, from day one, right? So she, you can tell she was in dire financial situation because look how many things that she has put her face on. Since January of 2023. A lot. Ruby, talk about the Bridget and Prissy Pants lawsuit. Oh, I will, Ruby. I'll read you about it. Cackerel Blue, will you have any guests coming on soon? Well, me and Danny Smith talked. He's going to come back. And Danny Smith is Elvis's cousin. He come back. I'm going to try and get him to get Billy Smith on because this will be his second time. So it's like, come on, I want to talk I want to talk to your dad so bad. You can sit on the couch with him. <laughs> I want to talk to him both. Um, I don't know how interested you guys would be um, if I could get on the show Dr. Nick's son so we can ask him the questions that we've all been dying to know you know, about Dr. Nick and see if his son knows anything about that, which I'm sure he does. So that would be good. Mike Stone is still in the air. It's not that he's going anywhere. I also have uh, a lady called Nicola that uh, saw Elvis backstage in 1974. And she has a really good story to tell. I wanted to have her on. 
I wanted to get Patsy Anderson's Presley's, um, you know, idea of Graceland and the things that she helped do while she was working there. And when I say Patsy Anderson Presley, I'm not talking about Patsy Gamble Presley, which was Elvis's double first cousin. No, I'm talking about Patsy Anderson Presley, another girl that used to work for Graceland and who was also, I think, Priscilla Presley's body double. So, yeah, so I thought maybe we'd get her on so we can see what her perspective of what Graceland was like back in the day and why it's changed. So, yes, Cat Girl Blue, I've got some guests coming on soon or in the mix that I'm trying to get on. Carol Jackson, hi, Shauna, and everyone else on here. Hi, Carol. Ginger, happy early birthday, William. Oh, Please, guys, in the comments, if you can, tell um, tell Tanya, my graphic girl, hi. She she does the graphics, and sometimes she feels left out, which she sh you know she shouldn't, but sometimes she does because when I talk about Elvis, or when Rhonda and I were together talking about Elvis, you know, she always got forgotten that there's a third girl here. You just never see her. So, you know, just tell her hi, you know, and she'll she'll say hi back after the show. I don't see her in the chat tonight. She was in the chat last week, though. But if you can, tell her hi and just say thanks for the graphics because I love I love her graphics. If it wasn't if it wasn't for her, I don't think she'd make me look. She makes me look good. I'm telling you, she does those graphics perfectly. All I do is tell her what episode, what number and what it's about. And she does everything herself. I don't even ask her what to do. She just does it. So tell her hi for me, please. Ruby, does this mean she is not supposed to use the Presley name or her first name, Priscilla? <coughs> Ruby, this only means that she couldn't exploit her name as far as she wanted because she already sold the Presley name to authentic brands years ago. So Bridget being in a contract with Priscilla to um, exploit her name and image, she was limited to what she could exploit. Okay. So she couldn't exploit what, what Priscilla wanted her to. So then Priscilla backed out, shut her out of the um, premiere of the Priscilla movie which Bridget Cruz and that company was supposed to exploit for her. And they got cut out of the money. And plus Bridget Cruz also says that she gave a lot of her own personal money to help Priscilla's movie even happen. So that was interesting. That was really interesting. It's like, how does Bridget Cruz have enough money like that to help out Priscilla Presley is beyond me. Carol Jackson. Hi, Shauna and everyone else on here. Oh, sorry. I already read you, Carol. Didn't mean to. Um, let's see. Carol, I, Lori, Olivia, do you discuss the movie only? I didn't get it last time, but I don't know the Elvis movies. Well, Olivia, if you don't know the Elvis movies, you'll have to watch my shows on Tuesday so you can know Elvis movies. I do discuss the movie one movie at a time. We just got done discussing Love Me Tender. Um, and and this Tuesday, we're going to discuss Loving You. And we're going to go in order. And at the end of um, all the shows, I'm going to have a giveaway. And we're going to give away a movie, a, a movie per show. And that'll be fun. Because you guys can own a movie of Elvis's. Nancy, I'm putting in a word here about R.O. Memphis being laid off from Elvis Radio on Sirius, Sirius X. Please, everybody, contact Sirius and tell them to give Argo his job back. Well, I've heard a lot about this on Facebook in the last few days, Nancy, and I'm going to tell you straight up. 
I believe somebody said that the Sirius XM website is overwhelmed by people contacting Sirius to tell them to give Argo back his job to the point where they're telling Sirius XM radio that they're canceling their subscriptions, can canceling their subscriptions if they don't bring Argo back. Well, here's the kicker. Sirius XM Radio, I believe, is starting to say that because of all the people canceling their subscription, they're going to drop Elvis Radio altogether. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I saw. You can find out, but that's what I saw. I don't know. Either there's no money in the Elvis music, or they're being... Sold out to a private company? Going bankrupt? I mean, why else are they getting rid of 3% of their employees at Sirius XM Elvis Radio? 3% of their employees got fired. And Argo Memphis was one. So it makes you wonder, besides bankruptcy getting bought off by a private company, could it be that they let go 3% of their employees because they're cheap skates and know that laying off people will make them more money because they don't have to pay people. It's just a greedy company, just like every other company, Nancy. I hope Argo gets his job back. If he doesn't, then tell him to go on Spotify and do, do his own job for himself. Because most times these days, it's better to do business for yourself than for others. Because I don't trust nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Music World. Hi. All Mike Stone is going to do is promote himself. And that's true, Music World. He is. He'll promote himself for a whole hour and a half. But then he'll tell us something we want to know about Chrissy Pam. But it's something. There's people that want to hear what he has to say since he's only done one interview. And it's been a while since. Elvis Chick, hi Tanya, keep up your awesome job. Love your graphics. Thank you, Elvis Chick. She'll see that. Gina, I agree, Music World. Well, I also agree with Music World, but it's like there is a story there. It's just going to take a while to get it out of his mouth. <laughs> you know, there's a story there, but it's going to take a while to get it out of his mouth, you know? Music World, thank you, Tanya, for such beautiful graphics. Thank you, Music World. Ginger, me too, William. Teresa, I saw an interview with Johnny Lang, Elvis Army friend. It was terrific. Oh, wow. I'll have to look that up. I have not saw that yet, girl, so thanks for the tidbit. William, love to have Love Me Tender in color. I don't know. I like the original version. Do, do, do you know, William, that you can watch Love Me Tender in color on YouTube? If you want the link, I'll give it to you in the description below when the show's over. But yeah, you can watch it. I don't like how they mess with the old movies. You know, I'll, if when Elvis did his two black and white movies, that's how I like to watch them. Love Me Tender in black and white and King Creole in black and white. I know that when I used to watch Elvis movies on that uh, channel TBS when I was a kid, they tried to colorize all these old movies. And it bothered me. I grew up watching them old in, in black and white. So, I don't know. I like the originals. It looks too fake and done up when they colorize them but you can watch love me tender in color on youtube william if you want to ginger you got that right music world ginger who's argo argo is a dj on sirius xm elvis radio he was just fired with three percent of the workforce for sirius xm radio and people want him to have his job back that's who he is Trevor Thompson. I haven't seen you in a while, Trevor. How are you? Trevor, a mole is a group of rats that gets in your yard and ruins your yawn and ruins your lawn. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> Those are real moles, like the animals that 
that that that build oh my gosh that's not the moles we were talking about trevor but that's funny but still i haven't seen you in a while Susie q hi elvis chips olivia okay perhaps i'll get to watch but if by chance I should win a giveaway. Will you sign it for me? Oh, that's so sweet. Who am I to deny? I will, I'll, I'll sign it if you want me to. <laughs> wow. I, I'm touched. Nobody's ever asked me but a bill company or my bank for my John Hancock. <laughs> of course I'll sign it if you want to. Oh, my goodness. That made me feel good. Olivia, I love you, girl. Of course, I'll sign it for you. Susie Q. Oh, yes. Shout out to Tanya for her awesome graphics. Do you guys know I'm kind of losing, like, my voice is getting really scratchy. I've had a cough for the last, like, probably 27 hours. I hope I'm not getting sick, but I'm just throwing it out there. My voice is a little lower than it normally is. So it kind of sounds weird to me right now. <laughs> I could probably do a good J.D. Sumner uh, uh, <laughs> rimmed in chin right now. Way down, way down. <laughs> Ruby, I like Dr. Nick's son. He does have some stories. I know he does. I want to get them on the show, Ruby. Gina D. Why? Because of Prissy movie. I don't know, Gina. I don't know. Why? But I do know it's all about greed. It comes down to being greedy. That's what it comes down to in the end. William, have an awesome evening, y'all. Well, you too, William. I uh, hope I'll see you. I hope I'll see you next week. Kathy, Tanya, you're very talented. I love everything you do. William, really? William, I just want everything Elvis. Well, so do I. I'm I'm trying my hardest. It's not it's not going fast enough. <laughs> I have all kinds of Elvis things. I think I need Elvis wallpaper at this point. Kathy, how do we win a movie? Well, this is how you win a movie. You must watch my Elvis movie shows, okay? Not live or anything. I just pre-tape them. You must watch it because what I talk about on that show, I'll ask as a trivia question when I'm done with the shows. Every, like, four or five shows, I'll ask a few trivia questions about that show, and you guys answer it. And the first person that gets it right, the first person I see with a timestamp that gets it right, gets a movie. Now, I'll have more. Right now, only two came in the mail, and it's these two. But I'm going to have more, and it'll be fun. It'll be something that we all can do together, you know, and a way for you guys to own some Elvis movies if you guys don't already have them. Cat Girl Blue, colorizing is horrible. If the director wanted it in color, he would have shot it in color. Girl, exactly. I don't care. It's not just Elvis movies. It's old movies in general. I want them black and white if they were made in black and white. I don't want this colorized crap. It's, it looks just awful. I don't like it. That's not history. William, I think the colorized version someone posted on a group was not the correct frame size and had big Chinese subtitles, so it might be hard to watch. I don't like colorized versions myself. I don't either. We just talked about that. <coughs> uh, excuse me, guys. My throat's getting scratchy. Gina, I like to have Love Me Tender, no matter how, but DVD. Well, in about five shows, I'll, um, in about five shows, I'll, I'll give away five, every five shows, I'll give away five movies. How about that? Every five. So I've got four more four more Elvis movies to cover. 
before I give away the first five Elvis movies. How about that? Okay, and then so on and so on. William, I got Viva Las Vegas and Elvis on tour and Elvis That's the Way It Is on Blu-ray. I have every single Elvis movie known to man. Everything from this is El from from um this is Elvis to all of them. I've got all 31 movies. Plus I have That's the Way It Is. Plus I have um, Elvis on tour. Then I have Elvis 1979. Um, this is Elvis. Uh, after that, I have all the miniseries that Chrissy Pants tried to help put out from the 90s. I even have that stupid movie Elvis and Me that had Del McGiff and Susan Walters in it. <laughs> <laughs> Which I know by the margins. I grew up watching that movie. I own I own pretty much every Elvis movie you can think of. I own. But I have been collecting and greedy for them for, for, for decades, for years. So. I have put them all on my computer, too. They're all on my hard drives. So I have them protected forever. Lisa Vaden. Do you know what happened to Vernon Sandy Miller? For years, I got her and Sandy Miller, the gate girl, confused. I have heard much about the girlfriend, Sandy. I have two, and I know what you mean, Lisa. There's a lot of people that get those two um, confused, just like people get Patsy Anderson Presley and Patsy Gamble Presley confused. So I get it. It's, it's, their names are so close. The only difference is an I and a Y. So, yeah, I haven't heard much. There was a couple of videos out there with um, her, um, and I haven't heard anything since. So, I can't answer your question on that one, because I haven't for years heard about it. I haven't seen her, heard anything of her. Olivia, do you have a business address? Um, no, I do not have a business address. I have a home address. Mm hmm. I could go out and get a P.O. box like everybody else, but I'm not paying no seventy five dollars a month to get a P.O. box. Are you kidding me? <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. I I, I just refuse to pay almost a hundred dollars a month for a P.O. box. Um, when my home address is perfectly fine with people that I trust. Now, I don't give my address out to just anybody. I have to know you guys for a while. If I don't know you, I ain't giving it out, period. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, 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 I'm thinking about maybe, um, having a business address, but sending it to another place that isn't my place and then getting it at a later time. If that answers your question, Olivia. Lily Ramos, I hope you're not getting sick, Shauna. Drink some hot tea with lemon and honey. And always soothes the throat. I know. That's not what I'm drinking right now. But you, Lily, you forgot to put the, the lemon hot tea, but you forgot to put the whiskey in there. <laughs> you got to have hot tea with lemon and honey and whiskey. Yeah. When I get done with this show, I'll make me a hot toddy, okay? How about that? I think I am getting a little sick, though. It's okay, though. I'm off for nine days. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm off. I'm off from nine days, guys. I'm, I'm off from work. It's a vacation I have been wanting since Christmas, so I'm happy about this. I'm off for nine days. I get nine days to... Work on the channel, work on the groups. I'm even thinking about doing something different um, in my studio. You know, um, I, I want to do a lot of things, but I have nine days to start. But if I'm sick, it's okay. I, I, I don't have to go to work. <laughs> I'll be okay. <coughs> Ginger, you're welcome, music world. Well, you have loved that Elvis poster behind you. Which one? I have lots of them. There's, wait, there's, there's that one. That's a poster. 
there's that one, that's a poster, and that one that's framed on the bottom, that's a poster. This right here, that's a tapestry, and it's vintage. This is vintage. This is 1973 vintage. Um, that, nobody ever sees that, but I'll probably move it. But there's a few things I want to do differently in my studio, and I have some time to do it while I'm off work. So I, I want to do something different. I've had this layout for a couple of years now, haven't I, guys? So I want, to, I want something different. Oh, man, you guys are right, and I'm so far behind. Oh, my goodness. Catherine, I still have no desire to watch Elvis's ex, ex's movie, even when it's free. I don't either. I own Elvis in me. That, that, that's more than I can stomach at this time. Trevor, Cruz said she helped negotiate the movie project Priscilla, which was being directed by Sofia Coppola. But Cruz alleges that Priscilla suddenly cut off her, excluding her from the film premiere. Exactly. That's part of the lawsuit right there. <coughs> That's when she realized she was cut off. Arlene, howdy. Arlene, Kimberly, I don't think her idea of broke is the same as my idea of broke. Kimberly, I understand you 100%. Her idea of broke is not the same as ours. We're normal people. We'd be homeless in 5.2 seconds if we were, like, what is it they say? They say poverty happens within losing two, three paychecks. You lose two or three paychecks from your job, you lose your home, your car, everything. If you didn't get paid for two or three months, you'd lose everything. But I don't think Priscilla is going to lose. <clears throat> Do you guys think she'll ever be like like the like the crazy old cat lady homeless lady walking down the street pushing the cart? I don't think so. I mean hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know what the future will bring with this lawsuit. But I do know that it means she'll be paying some money to Bridget Cruz if she loses this lawsuit. Arlene, hi. Queen Scott, Shauna, just checking in. Hi. Hi, Queen Scott. I've missed you. William, I can't find Elvis with Michael St. Gerard. Really? Oh, I found it. But then again, you got to go do some searching. Uh, let's see. Uh, L L N. Um, L L. NWT. I can't pronounce that. You'll have to tell me what your name is. Hi, Shauna. Just tuning in. Thank you. You guys, if you're just tuning in, you guys can watch the show and it's entirely when it uploads when I'm done in a little while. So you don't miss anything that we talked before you got in. Okay. Elvis Chick. Trevor, I heard that too, but Bully you was an executive producer too. I know Elvis Chick crazy craziness with that woman Kimberly I would like to believe that if I had $100,000 a month income that I could live comfortably and not be broke I know but if you're rich and you have $100,000 a month income then you'll say you're broke because you can't live way below your means right so their idea of broke isn't our idea of broke you're right about that Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. Gina, goody, goody. Music world. We can all thank our favorite Southern cable-obsessed gentleman, Ted Turner, because he started the color movie trend. He did, and it was on his channel, TBS. And I hated it. Anytime there was a colorized version of one of my favorite movies that didn't that wasn't made in color, I wouldn't watch it until it came on in black and white. So, you know, I killed it for me. Um, anyway, um, let me see here. I want to say hi to Kristen. I haven't seen her tonight. 
So I just want to throw it out there. You know, she's been giving me some things that she's been finding, too. So thank you, Kristen. But I don't see her on tonight. I don't see my friend Steph on tonight either. But I give her my love. Arlene, hey Ginger, happy Friday to you too and all. Yo, na na na. Ooh, sir. <laughs> William, the Viva Las Vegas I'm sending to Shauna is the 50th anniversary Blu ray with a special edition photo book. <laughs> William, you're going to spoil these people. You're going to spoil the audience here. William, awesome. Ginger, I wouldn't see that stupid movie either, Catherine. There's a lot of us that didn't want to see that stupid movie and still don't. William, I wish I had that. Arlene, P.O. Box is expensive. I have one. I know. They want $75 for the one that I asked for. And that's for, like, if I got packages bigger than, like, this. And I'm like, that's pretty expensive, man. <laughs> yeah. Gina, the only ones I still want and cannot find is Love Me Tender, Loving You, and Frankie and Johnny. Oh. Well, tune in for the Love Me Tender, Loving You and Frankie and Johnny giveaway when we find them. Because, yeah. Incredibly curious about Elvis. Hi, Tanya. Thanks for all you do. She appreciates that more than you guys know. You guys always see me. You don't see her. So thank you guys. Appreciate that. She works really hard around here. Hopeful full moon. Hi, Tanya. Thank you for the grab. Teresa, have you seen where I believe it was you two was talking about Elvis being the king and he announced that the queen was in the audience and she stood up and waved like she thought she was royalty? You mean Prissy Pants was in the audience of a YouTube concert and he called Elvis the king and he called her the queen? <coughs> Oh, I can't stand when people do that. It so bothers me. Seriously. You know, he has credibility. The reason why they call him king of rock and roll is because he was the king of rock and roll. She wasn't queen of anything. Nor is she. I just don't understand that sometimes. I don't understand how people do that and say these things and make her royalty. Just like when Pierce Morgan called her um, American royalty. And that about made me gag, guys. I was like, if I had a gun, I'd have shot my television set like Elvis. <laughs> I mean, serious, guys. It's ridiculous, really. It seriously is. Uh, she's royalty of nothing. Uh, yeah. Priscilla was royalty of nothing. Uh, Lisa Marie was the princess. Prissy Pants was nothing. That's just my point of view. You guys have another opinion. I get it. But I, I do not like that woman. There is no love between us. Seriously. Cheryl, the last time I checked, Sandy Miller was still living. She married a doctor who has since passed away. She lives in Colorado. Thank you, Cheryl. Like I said, I hadn't heard about her in years. Rainbow, it's called the Sexy Flam, Phoebe Buffet, friends. Remember, you could do a couple of Lisa songs with your raspy throat. You're an idiot, and I hate your gut. <laughs> Arlene, let's see we are, let's see we all pitch in five bucks. Laugh out loud. Yeah, get to know us. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Arlene, I've known you long enough, honey. I've talked to you for two years now. We're good. We're good, Arlene. Olivia, when I paid for my P.O. box, it was $18. Olivia, when was that? Because the prices have rose. They are too high these days. 
incredibly curious about Elvis. I would love it if you would interview Elizabeth Standiak and ask her about the time in Germany and the last day. Is she still alive? Do you know her? If you do, set me up with her. I'll, I'll interview her. In fact, I keep telling you guys, I will interview anyone. Just throw me the bone. I'll get them on. If they're legit and they, their story pans out, I'll get them on. Olivia, now it is 80. Arlene, mm, hot toddy, yum. Yeah, they're yummy. <laughs> Just give me that whiskey already. Gina, that is sick. Who does she think she is? She thinks she's a queen. That's who she thinks she is. She's a delusional woman. Vicky, Amarado, and Cappuccino, yummy. I don't think that's going to help my. It could help my throat, too, but the caffeine's just going to keep me up. Um, after I get off with you guys, I'm going to have to take a shower and get to bed because I have been up since 5.45 this morning. You know, if you guys know I haven't quit my day job. I ain't so successful I haven't quit my day job yet. I still have to work outside the house, y'all. Uh oh, Lily, ha ha ha. Okay, Shauna, add some whiskey to your hot tea. I'm sure it'll help. I think it would. Elvis, Sandy Vernon's girlfriend sold things Vernon left her on auction. I've seen it when looking at auctions of Elvis stuff. Yeah, but she had ability to do that. According to Vernon's will, he gave Sandy that ability to do that. She had stuff he given her. So. Have you printed up any new Elvis things uh, 3D? No, not since I made these. Because my son and husband keep making their crap. And then now I'm out of, I'm out of filament. So I got to buy some more filament. And filament the material it takes to make these. But no, I haven't. I still love what I do have. Yeah. I still love what I do have. But I'm going to find some more um, stuff to print out. I am curious. There are a lot of um, artists out there that, that, that blueprint these blueprints for people. And they're really good. But there's some that suck. So there's only uh, so much Elvis stuff that you can 3D print right now. William, I used to have Elvis in me and Elvis What Happened books. You did? What happened to them? Molly, sorry I'm late. I was getting some new chucks. Some, some what? What were you getting, Molly? And hello? Olivia, how much is PP worth? Well, according to the art news articles uh, that came out in the past, she was worth about $50, $55 million. But just because you're worth something doesn't mean you have that money on hand, though. Arlene, nobody in Lisa's family will let Prissy Pimps have burial rights. Um, don't know that yet, Arlene. Don't know that yet. I mean, Riley said that she will bury her Nona there at the best of her ability. Remember? I don't know. I hope all this crap comes to light and it comes to light to the point where they can take her back to court and take her off that settlement. That would be nice. Molly's, you know. Queen Scott, she's on her next money scheme with this 91-year-old man she's escorting. That was just gross. That's just gross. I mean, she was kind of, I mean, it's kind of prostituting yourself out, aren't you? It's just, I don't get her. I don't get her at all. That's funny, music world, really. Well, th there's different, there's different packages of boxes you can buy. And the one that I wanted that would fit, like, Boxes people send me of things, it costs that much. Yeah. Now you could get a small box 
for, I think it was $40, and then you can get a, a, a little bit bigger for a little bit more. But the ones that fit like a good box, charging me, they want to charge me an arm and a leg. William, you have that tapestry? There's a lot of people I know that have this tapestry. It's neat. My my son's music teacher, and he's only in the fourth grade, she has that tapestry too. And Ginger, Priscilla ought to be ashamed of herself. I agree. Indeed, I do believe you're coming down with something, Shada. I know. Now my nose is feeling all weird and stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> Like I said, I don't care. I'm off work for nine days. Let it roll, baby. Let it roll. 400 per... Oh, you just gave me your address there, William. I'm not going to show that address. I'm going to keep it hidden. You don't want everybody to know where you're from and where you live exactly. <laughs> you, you, you don't want people to know that. Music world. Hi, Arlene. I hope you are doing well and good. Cat Girl Blue. Prissy Pets will never be seriously broke. No. She, she just plays the victim and people just go feel sorry for her and give her what she wants. I mean, at this point, she's almost 80 years old. You know, at this point, you know, she ain't going to die a pauper. She has enough. She'll be fine. I mean, you know, but these court, um, well, the court proceedings that are against her and all this stuff, it's not making her in a good light, you know. It, it, it doesn't make you look good when you don't, um, when you breach a contract. It doesn't look good when you go into business for someone and you guys uh, sign contracts and then you breach it. You just, you just, you just dodge. You just leave, you know. There's still some unfinished business, and I guess that's what Bridget Cruz was is trying to prove to people is that she didn't finish her business with her, and now she has to pay. Incredibly, oh, you retracted your message there. Incredibly curious about Elvis, Molly. Hey, Sana. Queens. Let's see. I read here, and that's the next one. Teresa, thank you, Tanya, for the graphics. Arlene, we can dig the yard and see if any boxes of money in Priscilla's yard. <laughs> yeah, but they might call the police on us first because it's private property. <laughs> Olivia, let's see. I already read yours. Gina D, wouldn't be... Wouldn't it be nice if she became very poor, just like Marlon Brando? Yeah, but Marlon Brando was like eccentric poor. You know what I'm trying. You know what I'm saying. I mean, even Marlon Brando's poor isn't poor like we are. Like we we can be us regular people. Ginger, I doubt she'll be homeless. I seriously doubt that too. She's got too many friends and too many just too many schemes going on the side. She'll have she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Early. Nobody at Lisa's family will let Pete. Well, hold on. I already read yours. I'm skipping. $25 every six months, Gina D. William, I can't stand YouTube, Stray Cats, The Blasters, Richard Marks, Bill Haley, Chuck Berry, some favorites. Hmm. Patty, the only queen she is, is the queen of hell. <laughs> well, if she don't change her way, she might be going there soon. LLNWT, will you add some Lisa pics? I can try. Arlene, Morgan, you think it's script? He probably had a bucket nearby. <laughs> he 
probably did, Arlene. Music World, Royalty of Gold Digging. Yes, that is exactly what Prissy Nicho is. Royalty of Gold Digging. Yeah. Elvis Chick. Excuse me for this, everyone. I'm sorry. I got to be naughty. Lord, forgive me. But Bol you will never be broke as long as she can stay lay on her back. You know what, Elvis Chick? That would have worked when she was, like, young and hot. But she ain't young and hot anymore. So I don't know how that going to work. I don't even know why that 91-year-old guy even want to pay her. <laughs> you know, I, I, I mean, I love your comment. But I'm just thinking, old people, sex. Oh, don't want to know. I 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 don't want to imagine. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. No. <sighs> Rosalind just found you. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. You can watch this after um, I get, uh, when I get off for the night. You can rewatch this whole episode, honey. So if you missed anything, you can catch up. Molly, Prissy Pants doesn't have love for anyone but herself. True. A true narcissist for you. Ginger. It bothers me too, Shauna. Pierce Morgan's comment makes me want to barf. Yeah, it did me too. Maria Ramo. Good evening, everyone. Arriving late. Hello, Maria. Oh, Ruby. Thank you for the super thanks. I appreciate that, darling. Thank you. Love you. Incredibly curious about Elvis. I have heard Mike Stone in an interview before, and he whitewashes Priscilla. One of the things he likes to say is that she didn't steal him from his wife, and he didn't steal her from Elvis. Well, yeah, but then other things have leaked throughout the years where he has said that she followed him. She pursued him. She would literally go see him on purpose. She even went to his house to introduce herself to his then pregnant wife to size her up to see what she was going against. Because that's how Prissy Pants rolls. Molly Elvis Chick, I'd say you call it like you see it. Molly, she does, just like you do, girl. And me. Kathleen, didn't Elizabeth Stefaniak Mary Rex Mansfield. Yes, he did, Kathleen. And Rex Mansfield went in the army with Elvis. That's right. Gina, I think all the stupid people feel sorry for Prissy. That's why they cater to her, calling her royalty. Yeah, you know, they're stupid. They're stupid and ignorant because they don't do the research that they need to know to know how that woman really is. See, that's the problem. They don't do the research to know how the woman really is. They go by what they read and hear, all these other lies, and what she says to them. And they don't know that she's a liar. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Ruby, you are the best, Shauna. Honey, you too. You too. Thank you. I appreciate you. I really do. Our lead, Elvis Chick, it's all in the ground, P. Mula, for easy day. <laughs> A rainy day. Karen. Oop, I missed a spot. I missed I missed a lot of people. Incredibly curious curious about Elvis. Seven hundred thousand dollars back taxes is probably for a year or two. She sold a thirteen million dollar house and moved into a four million dollar condo. She needs a good account. She needs a good accountant bad. She downgraded. Isn't that what they call it when you live in a very big mansion and you sell that mansion and then you, you downgrade to a smaller, smaller mansion? <laughs> Natalia and her druggy son. Ginger, I'm sorry you're getting sick, Shauna. Ah. It was inevitable. I work at a school. 
kids get sick. Kids get me sick. It, it never fails. <laughs> it never fails. Incredibly curious about Elvis Shauna. Why are post office box so much in your area? In my area, box is twenty four a month, and the small ones less five dollars a month. I don't know. Incredibly curious about Elvis. I have no clue. I have no clue. All I know is the size of the box that I wanted. That's how much that it was. Now I could get a small PO box that holds letters, but what if y'all wanted to send me something bigger than that? I wouldn't have room in that box. So I don't know. I was thinking of just a, a box that would hold a box of something in case someone wanted to send me something that wasn't an envelope. I don't know. William, a hot toddy will kick that out. Oh, I hope so, William. I'm going to make it as strong as can be because I'm really feeling uh, under the weather. Queen Scott, Shauna, you believe in honest money and getting it the right way. Prissy Pants has no morals about the love of her life, which is money. She will do anything for it. I agree with you 100%. Anything. She'll do anything for the money, honey. Even prostitute herself out to a 91-year-old man from Vienna. <laughs> Oh, when I saw that, I, I laughed until tears came out my eyes, just like right now. <laughs> yeah, Gina, I will get some, I will get some chloroseptic. Yes, Cheryl, I read that too. I read that too, Cheryl. Arlene. Cheryl, yep, with Lisa and Elvis's money. Bingo. See, Pam, maybe she can borrow some money from her son. I don't know, but I heard she's looking for properties in Florida. And she wants a studio for her son. What did she ever give to Lisa? Why is she catering to her son? She never catered to Lisa, her daughter. Olivia, I saw Zilla, but I didn't read that. Cat Girl Blue. Both PP and Bridget are con artists. So just because PK is suing her, that doesn't mean the lawsuit is legit. So can anyone know the truth with those two? They are con artists. I said this before and I'll say it again. They're two peas in a pod. You know, birds of a feather flock together. They they. They're pretty much do the same thing. And according to Stephen Schutz, Bridget Cruz is a narcissist as well. So, yeah, I think they're made for each other. It's kind of crazy that they're, that, that they're, she's suing her when she's so much like her. Teresa, yes, he called her the queen. She was way up in the audience and she waved like the queen. Oh, my gosh, makes me sick. Well, William, I found out all that stuff, too. And a lot of people in Hollywood hid their sexuality. Only because I guess I couldn't bring it out back in the day. But, yeah. But Marlon Brando was also eccentric. I mean, he was kind of like Howard Hughes in a way. That's, he was just weird in general. Um, he had some smart things to say to other uh, actors in their careers, though. Arlene, she best be changing ways quick. She best. Natalia, Cat Girl Blue, Bridget says she has proof. Let's see. Exactly. Let's see what she has. The judge, Judge Jordan, he said the same thing. That's why they're having an evidentiary hearing. Then this uh, uh, evidentiary he hearing, uh, Judge Jordan wants to see this proof. So once that happens, we'll all we'll all know if she has proof or not. Music world, she robbed Lisa, so whatever karma she does won't be good enough in my book. Well, I told you guys before, there ain't no love lost between me and her. 
I mean, the day that she kicks the bucket, I'm probably going to throw a party. And I know some of y'all might think that's bad taste. But to me, I've been thinking about this for years. When she dies, I'm throwing a party. Sorry, guys. That's just me. I've been planning this uh, uh, gone away party for a long time for her. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have a good time. Molly, Priscilla, Bob, Zabob. <laughs> Ginger, are you serious? Cheryl, it serves her right that it busted. Kimberly, I never thought that I would be pulling for Bridget to win because I don't think much of her, but I really hope she wins against Priscilla. Oh, I do too. I don't really like Bridget because what I've read about her, Stephen Schutz has been bringing it out there. But, um, keeping my eyes getting watery now. But, um, I hope Bridget wins just because I don't like Chrissy Pants. <laughs> so, you know. Natalia, Music World, she abused Lisa financially, physically, and mentally. Yes, she did, Natalia. Yes, yes, she did. Elvis would have never allowed that. No, he wouldn't have. He would not. She wouldn't have dared do any of that stuff if he were alive. Uh, Molly, Natalia, TV. Elvis Chick, thank you, Ginger. William, Prissy Pants is a hoochie mama. <laughs> I haven't heard that 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 name in a while. It's funny. Okay, let's see here. Incredibly curious about Elvis. You would think that she would have some really good stories, like when they would ride motorcycles or go to the frozen cow or Memphian stories. Her stories are so flat. Well, because she makes some of them up. Music World, I need a copy of Lisa Marie's biography from the 90s. Can anyone help me locate one? Well, it's not really her biography. It's the first ever, like, unofficial, unauthorized biography. But, yeah, <laughs> I've got one right here. And I wish I could do a book club where I can read it to you guys word for word within this book. Because it's really interesting. It's short and sweet, too. Because all I could do was write till she was like 25. This book stopped when she was 25 years old. So there's so much missing. But it's a good book. It's hard to find. I bought mine when it first came out in 1992. Uh, something like that. So You can find it on eBay. Go look on eBay. You might pay like $30 or $40 for it. But find it on eBay. Lisa Vaden, yeah, I'm no. I'm a no with Mike Stone thing also. Only because he'll bore us for the first two hours. Incredibly curious about Elvis. Priscilla and Navarone probably have money stashed in Brazil in his new house. You never know. <laughs> you could. Arlene, yeah, I'll send you a jet plane. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know if I'll be back again. Uh, Sarah, who owns the condo, Zilla or Scientology? Hmm, very interesting question. Rainbow, I threw up in my mouth a little. Yeah, anytime we talk about her, it's always like gross. Music world, your platform is too good to be wasted on Mike Stone. Shauna, forget him. Interview your husband. He might be a better guest, and I mean that in a respectful way. All right, all right, Jade, I get you, I get you. What I'll do is I'll not interview Mike Stone. Let somebody else do it. Because I was afraid that I was going to fall asleep. I was afraid, I was afraid that I, we would be, I would be talking to him and he'd be talking about his spirituality or how much he loves himself. And I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Molly, Trevor Thompson, exactly. Rainbow, 
I saw her dancing with the wealthy elderly man in Vienna on YouTube. She was swaying those hips seamlessly. I couldn't believe this was a grieving mother who just recently cried on Pierce Morgan because she's a horrible actress. Trevor, comedian Amy Schumer, is speaking out after her face goes viral for being puffy. She says it's due to hormonal issues. It could be that, or it could be 10,000 calories a day. What are you guys talking about? I missed something here. <laughs> Incredibly curious about Elvis. Priscilla and now, oh, I've already read you. Elvis Chick. She has an account. Navarone is counting Mommy Dearest money. Yeah, but he can't get anything right now. Molly in Florida near Scientology, huh? Right. Yeah, the contracts um, for PPP, the business that Bridget Cruz made with Priscilla to exploit her name and image and likeness, was made in Florida. Yeah, Florida. Molly, the pea pod is about to burst. I'm hoping. Natal Natalia, he already divorced. He was allegedly abusive to his young wife. I heard that too. Now, I don't know if that was true with Mike Stone, but I heard that too. Jenny D, the only thing I meant about Marlon Brando was that at the end of his life, he ended broke, living in a tiny apartment all alone. Well, Priscilla could end up that way. I mean, if she plays her cards right. <coughs> Ugh. Kimberly, you know she is working on her next payday, sugar daddy. Kimberly... She used to be, I don't know if she's as good as she used to be, but she used to be calculating. She used to already be like two steps ahead of everybody else, but lately she's been slacking. And that's why Rhonda, with the help of someone else throwing her a bone, got the story and, and, and dug more and got with it. It's because obviously Prissy Pants is slacking in her older age and forgetting that there are internet sleuths and Nancy Drews out there that will find stuff. Music world. Thank you, Shada. You're welcome. Danada. Guest husband, Olivia says, I am never interviewing my husband. They are not going to see him. <laughs> this is an Elvis show, guys. I'm not going to interview my husband. Uh, I guess the question, if I ever had interviewed him, it'd be like, so how have you been feeling these 24 years we've been together? <laughs> I mean, goodness. Natalia Riley didn't inherit her acting talent from her grandma. Oh, no, she did not. She inherited it from Elvis. You know, I always found Prissy Pence acting over the top. You can tell it was just too much. It was like, you're like, okay, I'll give you an example. We'll put some funny thing. Well, let's say that. Priscilla's doing a commercial about a drink. And any time I ever saw her, she would overact. Like, she'd go, this is a great drink. This drink is the most marvelous drink I've ever had. <sighs> Very good. You will love this drink, too. She's just over the top. I wouldn't have wanted to be a director directing her because <laughs> I'd be like, uh, hey there, Prince of Pants, we're talking about hemorrhoid cream and you want to be over the top here. <laughs> hey, Prince of Pants, we're trying to talk about these amazing animals and you're just acting like 
This is an Academy Award something. What are you doing, woman? Oh, this chick. I couldn't handle looking at Mike Stone. I couldn't stand that no good snake either. He's a liar, just like bold you. Now, they both made their bed together, didn't they? They both made their bed together. Anyways, guys, you know what? I love y'all. You could have went to any Elvis channel tonight, but you didn't. You came to mine, and for that, I love each and every one of you for it. But as you know, I'm getting under the weather. I am not feeling too good tonight. My eyes are just clear out watery. I'm just, ugh, my throat's starting to get really sore and itchy. So maybe I just need to go to sleep and go to bed and get some rest, you know, take some vitamins, have a hot toddy, take a shower and go to bed and see how I feel tomorrow. But I thank you guys for joining me tonight. I had fun with y'all. I mean, it's always nice to get together after big news breaks, especially news like we had this week, right? Right? Michael Landon said she was the worst actress he ever worked with. Well, I'm telling you, she's really bad. <laughs> Watch Naked Gun. She thought that was great stuff. I thought it was just horrible. Olivia, I mean, it could be allergies, but my head is starting to split in two now, too. So I don't know, girl. I don't know. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. But Kat, hit the like. Thank you. If you guys liked what you see tonight, if you guys had any fun, hit the like. Comment, please. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, okay? You'll get notified when I upload each and every video, so you won't miss anything. So, if you like, like. Thank you very much, guys. I work real hard on this. I try to get in touch with you and get everything out there. I love y'all. I hope I do feel be better, Cheryl. I'm going to try and get some rest. You know, it's the only thing that get get rid of this stuff is probably rest, but I've had a really long week. and. I get some time off, so I'm happy about that. But, guys, join me on Tuesday night now. We're going to do the Elvis movie show, and we're going to cover the movie. Loving you. And that will be our giveaway, okay? So, I love you guys. TCBT. I'll see you. God bless you all. And you know what? I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye, everybody. I'll see you guys Tuesday, all right? Bye, y'all. Be safe.